The first Zeppelin was introduced back in 2007 as an iPod dock when people moved from physical media to iTunes. Not only did the first Zeppelin look cool, but it also sounded rich and accurate. As iPods waned in popularity with streaming services coming on, Bars and Wilkins made two more models named Zeppelin Air in 2011 and the Zeppelin Wireless in 2015 with more streaming options and better components. But after that, the Zeppelin series was discontinued. And finally, now in 2021, Bars and Wilkins has updated their iconic Zeppelin speaker. And the company itself says it's completely reimagined for the new era of streaming services. In today's video, we'll be talking all about the new design and features of the brand new Zeppelin speaker. So let's get started. Now design-wise, it actually reminds you of the original Zeppelin speaker. But for the build, it will certainly last longer than the original one. It is because this thing is built from high standard materials. For the color option, it has two choices available for you, including Midnight Grey and Pearl Grey. At the bottom, it has a metal stand that fills up the speaker. There's also a small light under the speaker which you can turn on to give it a glow. For permanent mounting, there's an optional wall bracket available as well. The new Zeppelin is all about wireless, and that's why you won't find any connection on the back, other than power input and a USB Type-C port for service. There are also some buttons for changing volume, tracks, and more just where the grill meets the cabinet of the speaker. Internally, the new 2021 Zeppelin speaker has a pair of 1-inch decoupled double-dome tweeters, found in the 600th anniversary series speaker. Next to it, there are two 3.5-inch mid-range drivers, used in speakers like the Reference 800 Series Diamond. Finally, at the center, it has a 6-inch subwoofer, and all of these are powered by a total of 240 watt of amplification. Bars and Wilkins described the new Zeppelin speaker as smarter and more flexible than its predecessors. That's because the new Zeppelin has built-in support for Amazon's Alexa, that gives the users feasibility to play their favorite music with just voice commands. In addition to that, Bars and Wilkins plans to provide multi-room setup compatibility to the speaker through a software update in early 2022. After that, users will be able to link multiple Zeppelin speakers as well as other Bars and Wilkins speakers together in the multi-room environment. Furthermore, the new model supports AirPlay 2 and low-latency Bluetooth app text to instantly connect both your Android as well as Apple devices and play music from them. Like the previous models, it also features Spotify Connect and can be controlled from the Bars and Wilkins app that will give you access to streaming services like Deezer, Qobuz, Tidal, and more. It's clear that the Zeppelin speaker was the most desirable all-in-one speaker in the era of iPod docks. But as the brands like Amazon and Sonos have taken over as multi-room audio and speakers, it felt like Bars and Wilkins had lost their ground. But we're hopeful that with the new Zeppelin speaker, the company can turn the table. The speaker starts at $799, and has all the high-end features and build quality that makes up for it. So that was all about the Bars and Wilkins new Zeppelin speaker for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment your thoughts below. And get subscribed to AudioZone for more videos like this.